Hello, it's Pamela from Yorkshire in the north of England. I'm here today to do the reveal for the by hook or by crook uh, challenge that I started um, back in, well, beginning of January really. So the book that was chosen by me <laughs> was The Moving Finger by Agatha Christie, which is a Miss Marple uh, detective story, um, who I did explain was one of my favourite um, Miss Marples of all time. I have heard back from ten of you uh, who have submitted entries which I think is really good and you all seem to have enjoyed the book so that's great. I'll just tell you how I'm going to do it today so I'm going to do a resume of the story. I'm going to show you what I made, I'm going to show you what the subscribers made and then I'll do the draw. So hopefully that all works out nicely. So the story basically surrounds, uh, this is by the way, this is as of the book, um, it is changed slightly for the TV productions, um, I believe it was for the radio one as well, but yeah, it's uh, this is as it is in the book, hopefully just a brief one that I'm giving you here, and I don't think I have to give a spoiler alert because the ones that are here that are watching, I would imagine have either read the book anyway, and or you've tried it and didn't like it or whatever so I don't think you'll be bothered if I tell you how it goes so it's it starts with Jerry and Joanna Burton a brother and sister coming to live in the village of Limstock they take a house owned by Miss Emily Barton who needs to you know basically uh, budget and, and cut back on expenditure so she lets out the house to them the reason why they've come to the countryside is because Jerry is a pilot and he's had uh, an accident in his plane and is recovering he's got a damage to his leg um anyway they no sooner arrive than they get a poison pen letter and it's basically accusing them of not being brother and sister and living in sin now um it transpires that these letters have been going about for some time um, not many people have wanted to talk about them because it basically, you know, people say there's no smoke without fire. Now, um, Mrs. Simington is the first person in the book to die, the first character in the book to die. And she's, she's uh, supposedly committed suicide after receiving a letter saying that uh, the, the second son was not fathered by, the, uh, by her husband the solicitor, Mr. Simington, and she takes, allegedly takes cyanide and leaves a note saying she can't go on. Now, one of the strange things about this note is that it's got a corner torn off and it just says, I can't go on. It's not much of a suicide letter. Anyway, the coroner does accept it's suicide and that's what she's deemed to have done. Uh, anyway, and they've assumed the writer is a woman as well, by the way. Megan Hunter is Mrs. Simpton, is Mrs. Simpton's first child to another marriage. Um, she's treated like a bit of a nuisance by her mother, uh, well, before her mother's death. Um, and she feels like she's getting in the way of the second marriage. And, to, and this is actually true, that's how they do see her. Um, and she goes to stay with Jerry and Joanna in order, to, you know, after her mother dies, uh, supposedly to recover because they care, they care that, you know, nobody seems to want to look after her. Um, now, um, that sort of starts a bit of a crush that she has on Jerry. Then um, Agnes, who is the Simmington's maid, um, she suspects something amiss about how these letters are, are arriving and uh, she wants to speak to Partridge who is the uh, housekeeper at Jerry and Joanna's uh, residence, Mrs. Miss, Miss Barton's former residence and um, she like looks up to Partridge and in fact in the TV one the, with Joe Nixon uh, she actually starts off by working at Miss Barton's house and moves away to um, 
the Symingtons. Anyway, she arranges to come and see the housekeeper, Partridge, and but she doesn't turn up. Then Agnes is back by this time, I think Megan is back at um, the Symington's house. Uh, she's found murdered by Megan, and Megan goes into shock, uh, which she would, wouldn't you? Um, I think it's at this point that Miss Marple is invited to stay. She's friends with uh, Maud, who is Mrs. Dane Colthrop, who's the uh, vicar's wife. Um, and she obviously she's coming. She comes to she comes to solve it and they talk to her about these poison pen letters. Um, and uh, in all this, Amy Griffiths, the uh, doctor's sister, uh, the doctor is Owen Griffiths. As um, she's she's sort of like she's got a crush on Mr. Simington, and she starts to recognise that the Simington's nurse nurse stroke governess is uh, might become the next Mrs. Simington. So to frighten her off, she types a letter to uh, pretending to be the poison pen letter uh, writer. Mm -hmm. So uh, Elsie Holland, who was the nurse governess, um, you know, to frighten her off. Um, but the thing is, all the envelopes for these poison pen letters, the poison pen letters themselves were pieces of newspaper or books put together, but the envelopes were actually printed on the same typewriter that Amy Griffith uses. So they have her down for the old lot and they arrest her. Um, they also think she murdered Mrs. Simington. Anyway, in the meantime, this is where you get a bit of an old story because Jerry goes off to London to be checked out by the um, uh, Air Ministry's um, doctors and uh, see how his progress is going. And um, he, he suddenly decides at the last minute to take Megan with him and he gives her a ma makeover um, after which he proposes to her. So she accepts his marriage proposal. Um, Miss Marple recognises that it's actually Mr Simington that has been doing the murders and he's um, wanting to marry Elsie Holland. So she persuades Megan to, before she you know, goes off with Jerry, to uh, uh, stay behind and blackmail Mr. Simington. She tells him that she's seen what he's done with his mum, with her mum's sleeping powders, and um, that he, she knows that he killed her. So uh, he gives her a sleeping draft, and then he carries her downstairs to the um, oven, and he puts her head in the oven and is going to gas her. She's safe from that because obviously it's all part of the plan. Um, then, of course, Mr. Simington is arrested because we, we now know it's him that's been doing it all. Um, I think that's about it, really. It's, it, it's funny in the TV one with Joe Nixon's, it says, like, when a men of a certain age fall in love, they get the disease very badly. And this is how she describes Mr. Simington, which I think is funny. Um, uh, all the other letters that have been sent to everybody else, Mr. Pye, uh, the Burtons, even probably Miss Barton, you know, all of them that have been sent out uh, were just a smokescreen for his true intent, which was to get rid of his wife. Uh, Jerry and Megan marry, as do Joanne uh, and Noe Griffith, the doctor, and the, you know, so there is an happy ending. Um, and in the book, uh, Miss Barton accompanies Amy Griffith on the cruise because Amy Griffith obviously had her heart broken because Mr. Simming not uh, Mr. Simington didn't not only didn't love her, he was a murderer as well. So, uh, and that's quite often what happens in a lot of these where the, the love interest goes wrong. Um, you know, one of the older people will take the wronged woman away on an holiday. So I hope that explains the book. It's it's not all doom and gloom. There's, there's a lot of fun elements in the book. Um, so um, on to my next thing I'm going to do is the uh, tell you about my makes, which uh, are mine, mine are put to shame by all these I've had sent in, by the way. So in the book and on the TV 
stream. The, the cyanide comes from uh, the, with some cyanide that the gardener had, Mr Cleet, he had uh, cyanide for getting rid of wasps. So I've gone lateral and I've done a wasp. Now, can I just say this is partly cathartic for me because I'm terrified of wasps. There's not many animals that I don't like, but I'm terrified of wasps. And um, I thought if I, if I do a wasp, maybe it'll help me out a bit. I try not to kill anything ever, but if a wasp won't be warned and get out, I'm afraid I do sometimes go down that line. But but yeah, I'm, I, I try to be good and try not to kill and try to encourage them to get out of my house. <laughs> so I've done a wasp, so it's only a little one. So uh, I've given him a frowny face. Um, I, I don't think I've done a right, right good job on it, but I've given him a mean looking face. Uh, when you when you see the pattern, I have changed the legs. I've done the legs like I did with the bunnies that I you know um, got from Obby. The pattern I got from Obby. I've the, the I've done these in chains, but normally I do them with a row of um, you know go back along with single crochets. But I thought they'd be too big, so I've just done a chain, then put beads on in order to make the feet. So I've, I've swapped the colour away. So the, the two at the top I've done with a yellow chain and then a black bead, bottom black chain and a yellow bead. Um, partly because I didn't have all, enough of each one to put on. Put a bead at the top and I put some black and white baker twine so I can hang it up behind me here. So he's going to frighten off all the wasps from coming into my house now. Um, so it's a funny line as well in the uh, at Joe Nixon version. Uh, what is it, Mrs. Cleet blames uh, Mr. Cleet for having the cyanide and he says something like, you don't blame me, you'll blame them wasps. <laughs> and I absolutely love that. So anyway, this one is called Wilson the Wasp, which is that pattern. So this is what I've changed. I didn't like how that was coming out with sewing in the black, you know, crocheting in. The black legs i thought it looked a bit untidy so i thought i'd rather have them afterwards so that's what i've done and i've only done the four because it, it were a, a really hard to get the chain through the stuffing but apart from that i've more or less kept it the same i didn't put the whites of the eyes on because i thought it looked meaner without that one looks too friendly for a wasp if you ask me and i didn't bother with the top antennae because i just thought i'm putting it up for a nook through it anyway I think that's as it is in that. I got this pattern, it's Wilson the Wasp. I got this pattern off Etsy for £2.89. Um, so I've used a different leg. Um, I thought as well the head should have been black if you look at a wasp. I don't think it should have been in yellow. But And I used a 2.75mm hook. The yarns I used were all Serdas. Oh no, I tell a lie. Uh, the two, yeah, the yellow and the black were third our stories in double knitting, and the yellow was the colour summer, that one. The black, same again, third our stories, and then the colour is silent disco, that one. And for the white, you third our snuggly replay in double knitting, um, and that is in the colour whiz kid white. So, yeah. And it worked up really nice, did that. Like I say, it's a lot like the Scapia's uh, um, blended cotton and acrylic. And it, it you know, it, it is really nice to work with. The other thing I did was I did a cyanide bottle. So, and excuse my poor needlework, I tried to do a skull and crossbones. Uh, so I just used blue and grey for the bottle and uh, a khaki colour for the top. And that pattern was, um, oh, by the way, sorry, that was Alter Ego Crochet, was that pattern. Um, the mini portion pack buckle um, is from Stitch by Fay. And, Stitch by Fay. And uh, I got it off Etsy for £2.16, so that's that one. And uh, for the, have you, did I use a 2.7? Yeah, I used a 2.75 hook on that one. So for the cyanide colour, which as you know is actually called Prussian blue, uh, I didn't have a blue that colour. So I, I used third our stories in the colour pool party. Exactly. 
and for the bottle I used uh, Signet 100% Cotton DK in the colour Pearl Grey that one. and for the bottle topper I used the, this is the Diarapi Cotton and I can't remember the colour of it it's, um, I think it's Biscuit but don't quote me on that and then for, I just use a bit of scrap black Put the skull and crossbones on but I also did a love potion bottle with it being a love story so that's a nicer thing to do so I did the same pattern but as a love potion so the pink I used Serda Classic uh, Cotton DK in the colour Shell Pink and for the bottle I used the same grey 100% cotton from Signet in um, a DK one and for the same the one in biscuit for the bottle top and that one I used a bit of cookie, dead air apricot and cookie just in brown to go around as if it's got like a seal on it and to attach a made with love token so that's my my things that I've done for it which I'm not so sure it's, <laughs> it's as good as everybody else's so what I propose to do now is I'm going to go through what other people did and I'm going to tell you, you know, if they've told me what they've used for it and put a picture up because I did do a video of the entries but um, the pictures were, it, because they were a mixture of portrait and landscape some of them look a bit small so I'm going to put them up here as well now it's up to you whether you want to watch this segment or the video of the pictures at the end if you want to skip to that that's only about 54 seconds um, that's fine I'll just watch this one so the first one I got in I think these are in order by the way the first one I got in was from Cheryl and she did a, a Miss J Marple she used the iconic women uh, book to get a pattern and she, she used Premier Basics DK and a 2.5 millimeter rock very good they're all very good then the next one that came in was from margaret i know she follows a lot of us on, on uh, youtube she decided to do jerry burton as the, as the pilot so she got a free youtube youtube tutorial in spanish called osito aviador from and i can't do it t a -E con ganshi ball to do crochet if anybody wants the names for those just tell me uh, and she used obby lobby yarns for that part she used a three millimeter hook um and she you she thinks she used 12 millimeter eyes how often does that happen to us all you know that we don't know what we used so she used uh the Aston shawl she used yarn b stitch 101 50 stroke 50 in cognac the body was um she can't remember the, the, the exact colour, but it was a Yarn B 101 50 stroke 50. Uh, the muzzle was Yarn B Smooth Move Microfiber in White. The goggle glass is Yarn B Stitch 101 50 stroke 50 in Cornflower. And the outer edge of the goggles was Obby Lobby. Uh, I love this cotton in antique cream. Then for um, this is Katie and she's um she's got a i think it's instagram she's got what katie crocheted on instagram i put them at the bottom by the way on the the uh, movie clip so that you can see what the channel names are now she decided to do a uh, a design based on the Women's Institute badge um, because obviously the letter that um, Amy Griffiths wrote was uh, written at the Women's Institute um, and um, it was their typewriter she used. It had been given to them by the way by Mr Simington after he'd done all the envelopes. Um, now she used Stitch Fiddle to design a colour work chart and she used scrap yarn and she cross stitched the lettering on so if you have a look at it she's now wondering whether she should have made it square because she thinks it would if she'd have done all the miss marple she could have uh, you know made an uh, any miss Mar any agatha christie book she could have done a blanket from them 
then we've got uh, one from Robin who again is follows us all um, on um, YouTube now she decided to do Megan Hunter um, now she used uh, the Anne Frank pattern from the Mar Mar Crochet Iconic Women uh, book by Carla Mitrani. Um, she used yarn art jeans, a 2.5mm hook and glass eyes. Then we've got Ellen um, who is on as Mousy Makes Pod on, on YouTube. And she decided to do a post box because obviously a lot of this is about sending letters. So she decided to um, make the pattern up as she went along, which is very clever. Um, she used a, a, a Pringles tube to do the form inside, but she couldn't make it as tall as it needed to be. So what she did instead was cover the Pringles tube in cling film. We've put a picture on at the end so you can see that. Um, uh, Pringles tube inside and then I think she, yes yeah, she did, she used PVA glue and water in order to form its shape So and it stands up now and she put foil inside the post box lid so she could make it a flip open one uh, so you can use it to put something in which is very good. She used to make it with Debbie Bliss Eco Cotton Harren. Now, then we've got um, June, who's, again, she's a good supporter of us all. Uh, she did Miss Marple, like Joe Nixon. Uh, like I said, she's my definitive Miss Marple. And she used yarn art jean, jeans, apart from the air, which is served our snuggly. And she used uh, the same as I've been using, that Rico cre Creative Lame thread. She used in gold to do the buttons. Very good for doing buttons. And she used the pattern for Rosa Park from Icon Iconic Crochet Women and she had just adapted it to make it as Miss Marple. Then we've got Dawn who is on Instagram as Dawn's Crafty Creations underscore and she did, because she, she's very good at art, she did uh, an hand drawing and um, you'll see that on the picture and it, she's done like uh, the cyanide and what have you. Then we've got uh, Violet who is on Instagram as Mrs Violet and the uh, O in the middle is a zero. Um, now she's she found Megan really interesting so she did use the Namity doll pattern from Amigurumi Treasure Adventures by Claire Culper and the braids she got from an Amigurumi people sorry the Amigurumi people book by Miley Lee. The skirt and shoes are based, based on Amity's outfit and the shrug and cowl or stroke cowl is based on a bear pullover pattern by Gan Newton. Gan <laughs> um, again if you need to know let me let me know and I'll, I'll write it down for you then we've got Rebecca or you'll probably all know she's on in, on YouTube as yarn and pajamas now she's decided to do a current snow because she found it really funny that the a current loaf had to be returned because it tasted bad so she's used it and she's done it and she's famous for her home so she's done a current as in fruit, no. Then the final one is Cassandra, uh, uh, oh, we all know her craftably ever after, and she's decided to do Joanna Burton. And she, uh, and she is, in fact, she's, put, she's a very fashionable sister of Jer Jerry, and she is, she's super fashionable. She did watch the new uh, TV version, uh, which I do remember watching, and I think they changed the plot, but you know, they do that a lot in TV, so like they do. And she, she was inspired by the fact in the new version, she wore, Joanna wore a red dress, so she obviously gave her a red dress. She used crochet iconic women book to be able to make the doll, and like I say, giving her a red dress so i'm going to put like say, as i've described them um, i'm going to put a picture up here if you don't want to listen to all this blurb just go straight to the um photo video i've put next so that's that and then we are going to go on to the draw so i'm just going to turn you off now so i can film that bit separately
Right, so I've set up a wheel and for some reason it's put each name in twice but you are obviously on. So I've got 10 entries and if you look down one side or the other side there's each name on each one opposite each other if you see what I mean. Um, so it, good luck everyone. So I'm just going to spin the wheel. Why is it not doing it? Oh, I've got to do it in the middle of her. Oh, well done. Well done, Violet. <laughs> so, thank you very much for entering, everyone. I'll contact Violet to see how she which prize she wants and I'll let you all know as soon as possible. Thank you.